Hi, I'm Ron. I'm a professional software and electrical engineer as well as a licensed ham operator, KI7NEW, that's my call sign, and I'm going to show you how to recognize the difference between a good and bad connection between these RF connectors. Now, here, first of all, this is the PL259 um, and the first thing I want to show you is the connections from the coax uh, here. One goes to this center stud and the other is soldered to this assembly. This collar here is just free floating. It's used to make the mechanical connection between them, but it is not uh, an electrical connection. It's not electrically connected to anything there. Now, first what you want to do is uh, taking your, this connector by the way is the SO239 um, which is connected to, uh, is, you'll find on the back of your radio, um, ham radio or CB. Um, now when you connect it, first you want to push it in and make sure that it's completely seated all the way down. So you have a connection between both connectors right here. Now when you thread the collar on, you do that by hand. It's, you do that, put a good strong turn on it. You shouldn't need any uh, tools. Uh, what you'll have is a good connection when the this uh, part of the, this connector and here are physically, to, you know, connected in a solid manner. Uh, this is caused by good connect by tightening here, but um, and that's required to be to have a good. Um, signal through here. Now, let's take a look at that's a that's a good connection, by the way. And that's what you need to ensure on the back of your equipment. Um, uh, otherwise, if you don't have a good connection, uh, you can actually blow out your uh, transmitter. Um, I'll say more about that in a minute. Now, here, this connector, by the way, is uh, the manufacturer um, used. Uh, in, instead of the standard number of threads per inch called out by the specification, apparently they used a, a metric um, specification of uh, uh, inch of threads per inch, uh, a metric standard, which isn't the same standard. Now it's close, but now watch what happens when I take this connector, and make a good solid connection there, and I go to thread it on. At some point here, I can't move this anymore. I can grab, I can take pliers and I and can't hardly, and barely make a little tiny bit more, can't really turn it any more than that. And right currently the threads in here are bound because they're a different thread, thread count and they're, they're tightly bound. But now note this, the connector, this here is not making a good electrical connection. See how it moves there? Now if you use a piece of equipment like this, like this was go outside, in this in a wind moving stuff um, well first of all uh, what will happen is you'll get an intermittent connection and um, that is a, a bad connection and can and can cause actually your your you can't you can't get a hundred watts through here it won't carry the current um, and you can uh, blow out your transmitter when there's a, a break in the connection just intermittent wise um, so we want to really watch for this whenever you connect together these two uh, type connector connectors make sure that you don't have movement here that's got to be solid and that's it